folks. Uh, uh, one of the issues, which, first of all, today, again, Donald Trump is actually in um, uh, North Carolina uh, with a response to Hurricane Florence, still being impacted. Huge uh, issues there when it comes to flooding. Uh, but he cannot get away with what happened with Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. And the question is, why hasn't the federal government, why hasn't Congress had any hearings to examine what took place with FEMA? We just found out that, that millions of bottles of water were left on a runway uh, in Puerto Rico. We're joining us now is uh, Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence from Detroit. Uh, she sits on the Government Oversight Committee. She joins us right now. And Congresswoman, glad to have you in Roland Martin Unfiltered. I'm so glad to be here. My first time on your show, so I'm very happy to be here. So here's so you we see this photo these millions of bottles on a runway in Puerto Rico. You have Donald Trump who is saying, "Oh, I didn't get enough credit for what happened there." He's disputing nearly three thousand people uh, dying as a result of that hurricane. And I just don't under, I, I, there's no way in the world uh, there could be a President Barack Obama and Hurricane Maria happened in Puerto Rico and there not be any hearings taking place. You know, this is a message we're trying to get across to all of America, election government. So on government oversight, which I sit, there is a dire need for us to investigate and find out what happened, what did happen. But because we have a majority Republican Party, the chair of that committee refused to hold a hearing on what has happened. We have repeatedly questioned and brought up the uh, need to find out so it won't be replicated, so we can hold accountable those who did not do their job. And if there's more resources needed or us to revamp processes, we can find out by an investigation. But Trey Gowdy, who is the chair of the committee, has refused to do that. So, so, so here we sit now in another crisis. And instead of holding accountable our government, which I know I'm elected to do by the people, is to take care of the the American people uphold my oath to serve, protect, and here said again, making excuses or really covering and protecting the president who has repeatedly failed to do his job. Uh, and what we're seeing, of course, we're now seeing uh, white conservative evangelicals. They want to uh, now press their people to say Democrats cannot can take control of Congress after the midterm elections. Uh, and then Donald Trump has already said, Republicans have already said, oh, they've already, they have, even have a list of here all of these different things that have happened and Democrats will launch investigations. But the reality is um, there should be uh, over investigations. I mean, how do you call it uh, an oversight committee if you have no oversight and anybody with half a brain could see that what happened in Puerto Rico by FEMA needs to have some type of oversight to say to make sure it doesn't happen again? Exactly. And, and so many people try to demonize investigations by saying it's a witch hunt. But investigations reveal the truth. And if investigations will reveal... Did we have enough resources? Is our government functioning the way we intended? If it's not, then we need to take action and make changes that we have throughout this and make sure our government is operating the way it should. Clearly, clearly, I don't care how you try to put the number on the amount of people who died in Puerto Rico. We as a government did not handle that situation well, and we have some work to do. Um, last question for you. Obviously, there continues to be the drama on Capitol Hill on the Senate side when it comes to Brett Kavanaugh, uh, the woman who has accused him uh, of uh, trying to rape her in high school. She now says she will not testify. She believes there needs to be an FBI investigation before she does that publicly. Uh, Republicans are saying absolutely not. She needs uh, to simply testify on Monday. Uh, what do you believe should happen? I really understand, and I feel for Dr. Dr. Ford here. So this is the thing. Any woman or any individual who survives the trauma of sexual assault should be heard. I believe strongly, I said it during the Kanye situation, that you should investigate. You should understand and respect when there's an allegation, but you should investigate it because accountability can't happen if you don't investigate. So now, if we have a hearing on Monday, 
he's going to give his statement, she's going to give hers. So who is the determining factor on who's telling the truth? So what I hear is that an FBI investigation who are in, by law, hired and in place to investigate crimes and allegations of crime. If there is an investigation, those facts will be able to be presented. I understand that. And so here we are in a situation where we're saying a judge who will have a lifetime appointment, unlike the judge who's sitting in office now, that Clarence Thomas, where women all over the country felt like we were ignored and that we were minimized based on the fact that all men valued his statement over the woman, we should not repeat that. And I feel the investigation is definitely warranted or else pick another judge to go through the nomination process. All right, Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence, we certainly appreciate it. Thank you so very much for joining Thanks. us.